And here I scored a couple uh, like bathroom style fixtures for um, three dollars and twenty five cents each. Uh, each one holds six bulbs and uh, my plan is to try to put them up on the underside of the uh, the big shelf right above the workbench so that I'll have really excellent lighting above the workbench for uh, working and for filming. So that's my plan. That's my current project. All right, so the light fixture upgrade is going pretty well. I've got one fixture up. I just have to put the decorative piece on it. And then I've got another one to go over here. And uh, I have two of these old uh, round light fixture boxes. They I scavenged from my old house, my first house, which I did a lot of work to. And uh, they're made of some sort of, looks like sawdust mixed with Bakelite. It's a very tough, resilient type of material. And I've been holding on to these things for like 20 years, so finally made use of them. Uh, and the wire is coming down here to this outlet box where I'll get the power for the lights. And I'm going to put in a double box so I can put a switch there for it. And the lighting project is complete. I uh, put a double box here and I put in one of these combo outlets and switches. So you can see it is now powering this fixture overhead and that one over there. Now I just got to get a bunch of bulbs. So I might end up angling them uh, so they're not all in line. I don't know. We'll test it and see how it how it looks down here on the bench. See if it makes uh, too many shadows, if it stays in line or not. So, lighting project complete. Hey, Tularinos. This is the first bit of footage under the new lights. Yes, the lighting project is complete. All these bulbs combined are 72 watts. And uh, it really lights up the workbench very well. Um... So anyway, the uh, the drill index here spent a long time in evaporust and got wire brushed and sprayed down with WD-40. The numbers are all there. It looks like it was a number 829. And again, it was a Huat from St. Paul, Minnesota, made in USA. So maybe I can get that painted up sometime. The uh, wrench here, made in USA, drop forged. Had a long soak in evaporust and then wire brushed and cleaned and the edges are, are really sharp and crisp. It was probably never used or very rarely, which makes a lot of sense, especially on this end because it is a 25-30 seconds, which I don't know that I've ever needed a size like that. The, uh, the vice grips turned out really good. I know they look awful, they are a pit monster, but um, they, uh, they're functional now. I made a spring from a springy doorstop, and uh, I refiled the jaws. Let's see if I can get it. there. We go. So the jaws have some grip now, and they are ready to go into my son's shop. And then this flashlight actually did come back to life. It is a green flashlight. It's a little iffy, but uh, it focuses and uh, it's. Just a very interesting green flashlight. I don't know if that's for hunting or what. One of you guys out there can tell me. All right, we have what appears to be a rusty knife that is made to look like it's made from an old railroad spike. Though I don't know if that's for real. I've never seen a railroad spike with uh, these grooves in it. Uh, it was twisted or whatever. I don't know. Anybody know if that was really made from a railroad spike? I don't know. I doubt it. Uh, the knife. The railroad spike knife. Dan 2019. It's got some heavy scale. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's got some pitting. It's not uh, a showpiece, but... I think I'll offer it to my uh, blacksmithing friend Matt Nash at work and see if he'd like to attempt to retool it and uh, refine it a bit. 
<clears throat> hey Tularinos, I have a little update here from the uh, the rusty tool haul. Uh, I, I really just scratched the surface, I only did the first box of that rusty tool haul. But if you recall, there was a amateur blacksmith made knife made from a railroad spike. And uh, you know, it was real badly pitted and uh, the the blade wasn't in line with the handle, so I asked my coworker friend who does blacksmithing if he would be interested to refine it. You know, I, I gave it to him and I said, "Look, if you don't want to mess with it, that's fine." You know, it was really worthless to me at that point, and uh, I said, "If you want to spend a little time on it, have at it." And this is what came back. Can you believe it? Can hardly tell it's the same knife. The handle's straightened with the blade, and he added this nice embellishment running all the way around. I'm not sure how he did that. Uh, and apparently he is a professional or semi-professional engraver. So he was able to put my name in there. And uh, it's just... A really awesome knife you know it's it went from being something that had you know no real value aside from the man who originally made it uh, somebody named Dan in 2019 <laughs> apparently because that's what used to be uh, on the blade and uh, this is what it looks like now pretty awesome huh Hey Tularinos, I got another uh, unexpected uh, mail call from, uh, this one's from Resto Rob, and uh, so pretty excited to see what's inside. I I'm sorry Rob that it's been a, a solid week since this arrived, but life has just been so crazy this past week especially. Um, just finally now getting a chance to open this and see what's inside. So let's see. Uh, what we have. It's well packed. I got uh, several bags here. Let's see what this is. <laughs> Pretty big. Oh, it's a right. It's a socket and extension. Yeah, there we go. It is a right 6403-64. Three-quarter inch drive. And this is a right forged alloy USA 6134, one and one sixteenth. Nice. And what's in here? It's another right. 4630, 15 sixteenths, um, half inch drive, and uh, Shiny, practically new looking. Very nice. And this one. Come on, focus. And this one here is a right 3612. It's a 3 8 with a 3 8 drive. Oh, another big one. And it is a right 4130 15 sixteenths half inch drive and a right 4620 5 eighths star 9. I wonder what that means. Let's try to look these things up. And here's a right 1 inch. 
4132. A right Barberton, Ohio MU half inch flexi socket. It's nice when you can see the Barberton, Ohio written on there. I really like that. Right, 3122, <clears throat> 11 sixteenths, U. I wonder if those those letters are uh, manufacturer codes for dates or something. Uh, right, USA, 3403J, it's a three, it's extension. Right, Barberton O, USA, S182. It's a half inch square. Yeah, that's cool. Half inch drive, half inch square. And we have a right, Barberton, Ohio, MS 5651 plus. Those, yeah, I know that one's definitely, that's. Those markings are definitely date codes of it. I gotta figure out what year that's from. Wow, Rob, you had quite a few in your hoard. Right, Forge Alloy S152, 58 with a bunch of pluses on either side of it. Half inch. 5 8 46 plus. Right, Barberton O, USA. Oh, it's a half inch drive, 5 8 square. Hmm, that's cool. Uh, Alright, we got a right, 3118, USA R, 9 16 3 8 Another shiny one looks like new. 3126, it's a W, 13 sixteenths. And a right Barberton O, S153, 57 with dashes. Half inch drive, 9 sixteenths. So, how about that? Nice little uh, haul of right tools. Um, to help with my my collection beginning so thanks a lot Resto Rob that was awesome and as always I keep my eye out for uh, Bonnie tools for you so if you guys made it to the end of the video thanks for watching